What's up? What's poppin' and what's Gucci? Baby. Before we start the video, I want you guys to watch this commercial I did for this beautiful new streaming service called called Phoenix Venue. Basically, it's where you can watch new movies that just came out in theaters at your own house. So you don't have to go to your house, you don't have to go to the theater and be like, which movie I wanna watch? I wanna watch this one. You can watch one at the theater and you come home and watch the one you wanted to go watch. Uh, but let's roll the commercial. Also, if you wanna purchase it or get it, it's in the link in the description below. All right, we out. Johnny! <laughs> Yo, I'ma grab the ticket, you just get some popcorn. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. How sold are we on this movie? We haven't seen that movie, and we know everybody's gonna spoil that movie by Monday. That movie is gonna be good, but if we don't see this movie, it's gonna be spoiled by Monday. And this movie's perfect for theater. This movie does have amazing graphics. However, that movie has to be seen in theaters. The experience is mwah. Okay. <laughs> if we pick that movie, we can't pick this movie, and I, I kind of want to see both. So it's basically impossible to see every movie in one weekend. With Venue, you can watch this and that. All right, today I'm here with my Latina friend named what? Uh, my name's Josh. His name is Joshua. What's your last name? Robles. Okay. All right. And today we're going to be doing revealing my followers. I look fat as hell today. Revealing my followers' secrets. Um. So basically, before we start, I want to say sorry for not posting for four days. It's been crazy. A lot's been going on. It's but been four days. I haven't posted in three. No, this no. It's been three days. It's been three days. Um, a lot's been going on, but. I am back! So you guys are welcome. Yeah, so I'm gonna get started with these, what's it called? These are revealing people's secrets. So I posted on my Instagram at- I just can't believe they, they trust you with their secrets. Me either. So I reposted on Instagram at suburban underscore prince to send me your deepest, darkest secrets. And you guys did not help back. You guys sent me a lot of disgusting stuff. So I could not just Have do you read some of them? Yes, already? I have. So I, I couldn't do this by myself. So I had to bring in my friend Josh to, to read this. So let's get in today's video. All right. Also, follow me, on, follow me on my other social medias at suburban underscore prince on Instagram and King Bo. Okay, and Snapchat, the real King Bo. And TikTok, suburban underscore underscore prince. Show, tell them your social medias. Oh, I just have one Instagram. It's Lil Dot So that's it. Okay. Yeah. So the first one we have is by the name of I'm not saying their names because I feel like that's I don't know. So this girl said, I buy popcorn and chips and hide them in my room. Mommy don't like it when I eat popcorn because I bleed from my ass when I to eat too much. You're a funny dude. Ooh, yeah. So what? How do you feel about that? So when she eats popcorn, she bleeds from her. Okay. Uh, I don't please, under. Please go see a doctor. I don't understand how you are bleeding from your your um, yeah, cause your anus. I don't. I don't get that. I don't feel that spiritually. Have you ever had that? No, she. she I have really bled from my my anus though. Have you? I mean, not my. All right, not my anus, but I fell on my butt really hard and like I scraped it in soccer. So yeah, but I've never. No, I, my anus has never bled. When I have used the restroom, and I go to like, I, there's blood. There's little blood sometimes. I don't know why. I think no. I think this is when I had them. When I remember, I grew my nails out. So you just wiped your ass and then you just accidentally I, cut your. Anus? I think I cut my butt. 
That's the only time my butt has ever bled. Wait. <laughs> what? Are you dead ass? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go to the next. <laughs> what one. is that weird? How do you nail? <laughs> I don't know. The reason I don't cut them is because I feel like Wolverine. I feel Your nose is dirty and you don't even have nose. Yeah, I don't know. Show them your nose. Dude, they don't focus, so I mean, I might as well. Watch it focus on mine. They're, they're decent. They're decent. And my secret is I once decided to take fish scented bars of soap and put it in my mom's underwear drawer. And she still doesn't know. So whenever she goes out, she smells like fish. <laughs> That is that is disgusting. That's terrible. That is what does your mother do? Do you just like not like the guy she brings around, or do you just like? Why do you want your mom smelling like fish? And if anybody doesn't know, what if a woman smells like fish, like need... at all, I'm not getting near that at all. Baths need to be. Absent. You're not getting a hug from me. Showers need to be present. I don't know why you would, how does she not know there's fish scented smell? I don't know. I mean, how long has it been there? She, my secret is I just once just oh, she said she once decided to take a fish so she, scent. Of, there's a fish scented bar of soap. That's disgusting. I have never in my life heard of that. That is something of Satan. I mean, I'm pretty sure they sell it like a, you know that like candy store in Universal? They probably yeah, they have some weird stuff in there. They probably still like at, like when you go the fishing hunting places, so like you can smell like fish, so you can catch more fish. Mm. All right, next question. My darkest secret is I feel no emotion or remorse. So somebody's a psychopath. I don't. I feel like I don't cry when people die, and I accept that I'm not capable of having a relationship because of it. It sounds to me that you are a what socio, <laughs> but. I mean, I feel like that sometimes, but not the relationship part. I just feel like I, sometimes I don't have emotion. But if it's all the time, yeah, that's no. Okay, there's there's an emotion. And there's can I read that again? Yeah, there's emotion. And there's over emotion. So like, people that are so like, if your mom died, you wouldn't cry. Is that what she's saying? No, she just says I don't cry when people die. So that's what I'm saying. Is it just people? I mean, because I don't cry like. So like, she's I, not really a sociopath. She just is like. I but I didn't cry when Michael Jackson died. But well, like, we don't know him. Exactly. That's why I don't know if that's what she means, like by people. I mean, or, I uh, cried when Cameron Boyce passed away. Oh, for sure, I did too. But I think it's because we grew up with him. We didn't grow yeah. up with Michael Jackson. Like when he passed away, we were literally like eight. Yeah. I cried, like if Nicki Minaj died right now. I wouldn't cry. I would have a whole ass heart attack. I would probably, y'all would see me act so crazy. Cause uh -huh. I just would not know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I would cry. Like just like, Unless they like, like say like somebody in this house died, I would, I would be, I would, be, I would break down. But like, oh, that tickles my, my, my under breast. Wow, thank you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your under breast? Like, if McDonald's went out of business, I'll probably be really pissed. Okay, that would be sad. Yeah, that'd be sad. My darkest secret is that I want to become a stripper, but Whoa. I'm scared to tell my parents and my family. And <laughs> just do it just at night. <laughs> I mean, the ugly days, the ugly strippers are during the day. First of all, I don't know what to really I wanna say about that. I want to say that's stuff, not a but I can't say everything I want to exactly. say. And you can't really have that conversation with your parents. It's either you do it or you don't. Because I'm in contract. I mean... So I can't say what my real opinion on it is. But Wait, but I can't say anything? You can say whatever you want. I um, can't say everything I want. Um, yeah, just say you're sleeping over at somebody's house that night. Do I just feel like do it if you're time. old enough to dance... If you pay your own bills, then I don't feel like anybody else should yeah, have. Yeah, exactly. Other Especially if you do shipping, they make really good money. So you'll be you'll be absolutely fine. Why are you so like advocated on this? Because I mean, if it's like a personal choice, make strippers great again. Twenty twenty. My <laughs> deepest secret is that I swallowed a cucumber, like whole. Oh, this is a little kid. I don't what know, were you just... doing with a full cucumber in your mouth? <laughs> How did you not choke? 
I mean, Wait, hold up. What is the average size of a cucumber? Enough for it to accidentally just slip. Average by your size throat? is like average size of a cucumber is like I think nine inches or ten. But the width of the cucumber. Oh, that could vary for sure. But uh, ten inches? No, twelve. Jeez, it's a foot. How he a, swallowed a the foot. Fruit of the fruit. It's a fruit. Oh, it may be as large as 24 inches long and 3.9 inches in diameter. So like, that's a big. That's a big. That's a thick. And that's your darkest secret. That's kind of not dark. Dark. My name is Diamond. I'm 17, and my dark secret is I actually had intercourse Whoa. with my cousin, and I'm pregnant now. I didn't know he was my cousin till my auntie told me though. Um, that is disgusting. How? I don't know why people trust you with this. I'm calling the police. How do you not know that's your cousin? Until your yeah, auntie what's up with people saying I accidentally? Oh no, this isn't this isn't accidentally. She said I actually She had a baby out of incest, basically. She's pregnant with the incest baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is nasty. So, I mean, does your family know? She said her, she doesn't know her. If you're watching this, I don't know, because you're in a sticky situation right now. So, but there is situations where there are cousins out there that you don't know that that, that is your cousin. Oh, for sure, but that's like third cousins. Like, that's my, my dad's cousin's daughter, which would, I don't know if that's still... Does that make sense? Cousin. Yeah. That's your second cousin. Your dad's cousin. So then what would be my be, third cousin? Your third cousin would be like my mom's cousin's like sister's uncle's cousin. His cousin will be your third cousin. That sounds like fourth or fifth. Because it's only one step. No, because it goes like this. So like if me and you were brothers. Mm hmm and then we had kids, they'll be first cousins. Yes. Then when they have kids, they'll be second cousins. They'll be second cousins. And when they have kids, they'll be third cousins. But is that even like, are the are they like really related? Nick, a third, yes, they're related. You're my but cousin. But through how though? Because you have, I mean, there's two blood Because lines. I'm your brother. That, they're saying my great grandpa was his brother. That means you and me could like be related like somehow. We're all related somehow. When we go, somebody birthed all of us. So we're, everything's incest then, so. No. So she's all good. <laughs> <laughs> my darkest secret is that I spit in my cousin's food after they called me a fat bitch. No, I would do that as well. I would never spit in somebody's food like that. Like, I remember, I remember in elementary, I mean middle school, somebody spit in my food and I got suspended for three freaking weeks. Because I thought it was funny. I sucked the living out of him. Like I was not playing. Do not ever spit. Wait, wait, wait. Did he? Did he provoke him? What do you mean? No, he spit. You know, I was. I dropped my thing. I went to the bathroom, and there was like a big loogie in my food. And I literally asked. I said, "Before I eat this, because I was trying to make a joke out of it, just see who did it." I was like, "Ha ha, who did this? Like, who did this?" And somebody, he said, "I did it." And I got up and I socked the living shit at him. I was so pissed. I was so angry. I wanted him dead. Like for I do not play that. I don't care. If they called you anything. A big. Kelly Price, I don't care. If you spit in somebody's food, that is disgusting. Like that is, that is disgusting. You can't find a word to say back. Like that's why your mama dead or something, something like that. Don't you but ever. This is just fighting words at this point though. Spitting, that's like you spit on me. Bitch, I don't know what you have. You could have AIDS, HIV, studies. Uh, you know, sexually transmitted diseases? Yes! You can't catch that through spit. Yeah, you can. No, it has to, I guess, but that, you'd have to have an open wound in your mouth. You can kiss somebody with HIV? Yes. Another dark secret is, in kindergarten I choked on a crayon. Why was there things going in your mouth and where was the teacher? Uh, actually, you know what, I choked on a Lego. I used to eat glue. In mm -hmm. kindergarten, and I ate paper for a long time, and then I had to go to the doctor. That's disgusting. I used to eat. You know what? It's not that bad. I used to eat erasers off of the <laughs> off the pencils. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. I just remember that right now. 
<laughs> I mean, that was like fourth and fifth grade. Like, I just oh had my god, I was like, but it, my and fourth then, or fifth grade. I was doing this in preschool. No, I don't know what it was. I just started eating them. I and then I would get so upset. Like, I would get so upset that I had no eraser because then if I messed up, you I couldn't eat it. No, I couldn't erase. Uh, <laughs> I remember when I got sick because I kept eating, eating paper, toilet paper, and I would eat Wait, I thought you were just talking about regular I paper. ate all kinds of paper. I had never discriminated equalology. I ate toilet paper, paper, tissue paper, all that. You just say, I will eat paper right now. Like, I love the taste. You're disgusting. Have you ever ate paper? No. Are you exactly. Gonna, are you going to make me try paper right now? You want to try it? No. Come on, get some, get some toilet tissue. That doesn't look like it'd be easy to swallow. You're gross. No, but just imagine as a kid, I would eat this whole thing. Mm -mm. And then I would get sick. I got sick one day. My mom was not knowing I ate paper. So I was in a room. I was like, my stomach hurt. And she's like, okay, I, you can sleep with me. So I slept with my mom that night. And I ran to the bathroom and threw up. Mm -hmm. And she was you like, I'm so proud of you. You threw up in the toilet. Yay. And then she checks the toilet. And it's paper. <laughs> and then but fucking oh, there's red, like red throw up, red vomit. You probably had some hot Cheetos. Or something. No, I cut my stomach. Paper red, cut. Yes, and but you chew it. I don't remember what I did. And I had paper, like rolls of paper. That's disgusting. And my mom was like, "Why is there paper You're in the gross. toilet?" And I was like, "I was wiping it." And she was like, "You are not wiping." She's like, "Why'd you?" Use all that toilet paper. And I was like, because I was wiping the toilet. She said, there's nothing off the toilet roll, the paper roll. And she's like, have you been eating paper? And what would you say? Like, what do you do at that point? I was just like, like, I was like five. So I was like, yeah. And she was so pissed. I just did not know. I love paper. I love the taste of paper when I was younger for some odd reason. For my dark secret, this one time I got curious and licked the tip of my... What? <laughs> Um, sir, that's disgusting. Just to help you understand that. All right. I don't know what it. Yeah, let's just like we're gonna have, skip yeah, that. Yeah, one. yeah, I don't have any um, for that. My paper. All right. All right. Okay. So we have another one. Okay. So when I was in second grade, I kissed a girl. I mean, we kissed all the time, and her little sister, and. And her and my little sister did too. The second grade. Okay, so wait. You, <laughs> you a guy, made out. Hold on, she has this more. Okay. I liked it all the time. Well, there you go. Oh, wait, I have one more. So when I was in the third grade, my older cousin, he was about 12 and I was eight. And he started asking me weird questions. Did he say what the questions were? No. Um. Wait, let me get the first part. So first of all, you're in second grade kissing? To be honest, I was kissing in second grade. I didn't have my first kiss till fifth grade. I was kissing in second grade and we were playing truth or dare in second grade. I never had my first kiss till fifth grade. And, I, then, and then I didn't kiss anybody until the end. I had my first crush. Oh my God, I dated this girl named Phoebe in third grade. We lasted till like fifth grade. But there was this one girl, at Brandy. So I was a football player, mm -hmm. and we were. I was a first grader, and she was a cheerleader. And her name was Brandy, and she was like a little. She was a little thickums, and she had little thickums and she, in first grade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> she had freckles, and she was Caucasian. She was from the Caucasity descent, and her name was Brandy, and we dated. And I remember like... For two years? We dated for like a year. And she invited me... I've never heard of like a little kid like <laughs> relationship lasting more than three weeks. <laughs> I went to her birthday, bro. And I really don't... I don't remember it. I don't remember it a lot, but it I was remember... a year. This is a long time, time ago. Long time. It was like 19... It was 15 years ago. Damn, I'm still old. Just saying. Uh, so I was just like... um. 
I remember going, I was like, I said, hi, Brandy. And she said, mommy, my boyfriend, Bo, is here. And then the big ass daddy came yeah. out. And he's like, huh? I don't remember her dad. Because when you're in second grade, you get curious. Like, but you do a lot I'm of very interested on the second part where he said that. The but, no, wait, wait. Go back to the first part. He said, yeah, what and my you? sister did too. So what do you like, mean? How old is your sister? Your sister kissed the same girl? Yeah. This is a girl saying this. Okay. So, okay. So when I was. So when she was, was in second, second grade, grade, she kissed, she kissed another kissed girl in second grade. So her sister was younger than her. So her sister could. Her and my what? little sister did it too. Girl. Yo, Wait. Y'all name. In second grade. Sarah, you're going to jail. So another one. I found my mom's nudes on her phone and a stash of sex toys when I was 13. Never saw life the same ever again. I am so sorry that you had to experience that. Uh, I'm not even going back. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, another one. Hi. I just read your post. My dark secrets when I was young, I used to choke people. I was a bad child back in the day. Look, before we start, that I... Like some psycho No, stuff. I had that. I did that to my friends. I would like, I don't know, I had a, I used to get an urge to just choke people, and I got a feeling. Okay, I don't do it no more, so stop looking at me crazy. For real, before I quit and go back to school. <laughs> but no, I used to have an urge, like I would have an urge, but then I remember I, I got caught doing it and my mom beat the hell out of me, she beat me. Cause I did. I remember this what happened. I got on the bus. This kid, cause I had, I, had, I got angry when I was younger. I got angry really quick. You had anger issues. Yeah, and I remember on this bus, and somebody told me this. So I was sitting right next to my friend Jacoby, and he was just like, "We're talking about wrestling." And the dude was like, "The dude butted in our conversation was like, wrestling's fake." And everybody laughed. And so I said, "Jacoby, watch this." I get on top, like I sat on top of the bus thing seat, yeah. and I said, I choked him. And he was like gasping for air, and then after I choked, I grabbed him by his head and I slammed his head into the window. For what? I don't know what came over me, and he started crying, and I sat back down. I was like, you oh, see, if you do that now, you're going to jail. Hell, I, I don't do that no more. I don't have that type of anger. I'm a Christian. No, you don't have that type of minority. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like you're not underage anymore. You can go to jail now. So I remember he started crying. I set my butt back, back down. I literally do this. Just sat back down, and then here, get up so the light looks better. And then that I sat back down, and I turned around, I was like. Shh, Maybe they didn't see. This dude got off the bus said, Bo just choked me and slammed my head into the wall. I was like, oh my God. I mean, what do you mean, oh my God? You deserve and that. I was so pissed. I was like, I just got to school. I just got to school and I'm gonna have to go back home and get a whooping. So I go to the principal office. They're like, why'd you do that? I was like, I don't know. I, Cause I did not know. I don't know why I did it. You're a terrible And child. my mom, Your she- Your parents have to deal with you? If y'all want a story time about how many times I got in trouble in elementary, I will tell y'all. I'll, I'll do it with my mom and my dad. Like, I, they were pissed. My mom was so pissed. Because the day, the thing is, I, got, I just got off of suspension. And I just came back and I did that. My mom was like, I... She come, she listen. She did, she like, listen. When we get home, it was so calm and it was scary. When we get home, you will not be having legs anymore. I'm going to beat them legs off of you. She whooped me. She picked me up, slammed me. I had a from her and then my dad, my stepdad. And you had to wait till you got off work? Yeah. Stuff, so you were so just like. My stepdad, like, he threw me up and dropped me down. And he started whooping my ass. It was crazy. That's and I remember that I was suspended for like three weeks. So I just came off of suspension for three weeks. And Is then I got an suspended. Actual story that I'm dead happened? serious. I swear on my soul. And then I got suspended another three weeks. So I was gone for six weeks. When I came, did, did you pass? <laughs> yeah, because they gave me all my work. They gave me all my work. I just did it. When I, I was grounded for that long, six weeks. So what did you do for six weeks? Oh, I still watched TV and did everything when they were at work. And so when they came home, I went to sleep. I was like, God, I'm tired. I had a long day. <laughs> I had a long day. I'm doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so it was just a crazy, crazy experience. All right. Wait, was it recording? Yeah, yeah. When did it stop? It stopped like, I don't know, that's why I repeated the whole thing. Um. All right. So my darkest secret is that I had intercourse in a church with my ex now who is gay. That is really disrespectful. 
That happens all the time, though. It really does. You're going to hell in jail. You had sex in a church? Wow. And he turned out gay? And the uh, her boyfriend turned out gay. Like, right after you? Or did he, like, have to figure it out, like, <laughs> like after the next couple, like, <laughs> girls, you know? Because, I mean... <laughs> If it was bad. Shut up. Shut up. All right. Next question. I literally have a pooping problem. At the age of 1 through 14, I would go for a week without pooping. Like, this was not my oh. fault, bro. I know people like this. No, no. I know my Yeah. Friend. My friend. My <laughs> You're canceled. I'm bleeping her name out. I ate healthy and even went vegetarian once to make the poop softer or whatever. Literally nothing helps. Now, now I'm pooping once every five days. Yeah. Um, but I... Which one were we on? The pooping one. But I, had a, I have a friend like this. Um, I have, is a, it too I have a cousin like this. But is it too big to poop? Or, like, why don't they poop? No, I think it's just, like, a metabolism thing. Like, they don't eat well either. Um. So they, like... Like, by well, I mean, like, they don't eat good portions. Like, their uh, body. Yeah. And then they get they get scared that they won't be able to, so then they don't eat as much. Okay, this one is by River Blue Seven. Wait, are you serious? She said my darkest secret is I actually wanted to be your friend in middle school when you were and you were really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. It's over. You bullied me in high middle school. Now look at me, successful. You just saw it like five <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> All right, next one. This is for your darkest secrets video. I beat this girl up and I told her if she told anyone I would gladly do it again. <clears throat> so you're a bully. That's what you are. You are. And she's a little kid. What are y'all doing? Know, you guys. Alright. This is for your darkest video. Oh, she sent it twice. Was that yesterday? Yeah. Wait. Was that... Okay. Yeah. Uh, the last one. Uh, we was just vibing, and I found. Oh, my darkest secret is. Although this is the girl that got. Hello. Hi, may I please speak with both people? Yes, this is him. Hi, this is Elena calling from Westcom Credit Union of the Sherman Oaks Branch. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. I hope you open your account and, um, you're gonna... <laughs> um... No, I do not have time to go over right now. I'm at work right now. Then they probably hate uh no, the ones that you the role you wrote the one you called me from. What did you say? Say that again. Uh no, I have it. Okay, all right. Bye. Okay, that's. Can you stop peeing? Oh my god. That's not fair. I'm gonna hit a million on TikTok. I'm a what? Famous. I have a mil what? I have a million on Instagram. I have a million on TikTok. Then I have a million on YouTube. Suburbians attack! Uh, is that what your fans are called? Yeah. Alright. So let's do the outro. Come on. This video is like 33 minutes. All right, what's up, what's poppin' and what's good Hey, We just finished the... No, we didn't do the last one. No, it was the same one. She was like adding on to the story. Yeah, so we just finished the 
uh, revealing my subscribers' uh, darkest secrets. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up. And leave a comment on what I should do next. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And new video will be out tomorrow. Also, follow my other social medias down in the link below. And follow his social medias. Yes, sir. Uh, also, follow me on TikTok because I'm going to hit a million. And follow my Instagram so I can hit two million. We're about to make a video right now. Watch. Yes. And thank you guys for watching. All right. So now I got to do this thing real quick. Hold on. What?